Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. I'm going to get two of these oracle cards and we're going to reveal them at the end unless it flips over. And then we'll reveal it now. This is for the sign of Cancer. April 16th through the 22nd. was three. Well, I'm going to get three. We shall go with this one. And now we are going to get one of these. More than one. We don't want more than one. We only want one. Maybe we'll go with this one. This is for the sign of Cancer, the week of April 16th. What does Cancers need to know? What do they need to know this week? Okay, there could be some delays, there could be some sudden changes, uh, there could be some indecisiveness, there could be a sudden arrival or a sudden return from somebody, or, you know, somebody could be very indecisive about where they're going. Here we have a lot of tension. Yeah, there's it. There is. There's some tension. There's some conflicts here. Power struggles. Struggling with a decision. There you are. Could be. You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces or um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with an air sign as well, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But you could be feeling like you're being attacked. You could be overly criticized. Somebody could be uh, criticizing you or judging you incorrectly, or you could be dealing with a bully. Somebody who is very aggressive, maybe even abusive. <sighs> Some truth could be coming out. Some secrets could be coming out. Mm -hmm. Which cause a sudden change. You may be feeling emotionally unavailable. Maybe you have your heart set on someone who who isn't emotionally available. Maybe your heart is set on someone who's not reciprocating. Could be another water sign. If something isn't meant to be with a, the with a Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something isn't meant to be. It's not happening. It's not working out in your favor. And you could be very disappointed over, over it. Yeah, it looks to me like you're realizing the truth of a situation. You're seeing the truth of the situation and it hurts. The truth is coming out. You know, perhaps you, there's somebody that, I mean, if it's you or somebody else, somebody isn't wanting to work on this anymore. They're not wanting to put in any more effort into a situation. I don't want to work on this anymore. Because it's not going anywhere. There's a, there's a feeling of being treated unfairly here. Yeah, I think you're dealing with a, a either a water sign or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Um, I feel as though whatever is happening is really hurtful. It's really hurting you in, on the inside. I feel like um, you may have your guard up now. You may be feeling like, you know, very cold. Or this other person that you're dealing with is very cold-hearted. Let me get this zoomed in. You're being called to look at this from a new perspective. Really open your eyes to the truth of this situation. The truth is here. The truth is here. And I feel like now you're probably feeling very uneasy about receiving this truth. It's not what you wanted to hear. You're scared of change. You know, I feel like you don't... Yeah, change is needed, but you're, you have this fear of change, okay? I feel like you'd rather just take the safe route. You'd rather just stay wherever you're at because it's safe even though it's not fulfilling. You know, yeah, you're turning a blind eye. It's like you're ignoring the truth, and you can't ignore the truth anymore, right? You're really at this crossroads, and you don't know what to do. There's a lot of indecision here, and you can't you can't keep ignoring the truth you cannot cancer somebody is turning a blind eye to the truth even though the truth is here i believe there's been a third party situation there could have been you know and you can't ignore it okay you cannot ignore it it's not bringing making you happy and you're being called to move on it's a time of transition even though you may not see it it's time to move on because whoever you're dealing with is cowardly, okay? They have stolen a part of your strength. And they, it feels like they have fed on weakness. You know what I mean? They've made you weak. I'm sorry. And I feel like, I mean, you could be dealing with a fire sign now too. We have Leo here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? I feel like maybe that's the third party, okay? There is a third party situation here. And I feel like, you know... You need to move away from this situation and find your strength again. Find your self-esteem and your confidence and your self-worth and take care of yourself. It's time for you to take the lead in your own life. And find the commitment that you are worth. I mean, you're worth a commitment, right? You're worth a firm, solid commitment. I feel like... Hold on. You know, you need to look at this as a time of freedom, a time of personal freedom, a time of liberation. Instead of losing hope, I feel like you've lost hope in a commitment. You've lost hope in love because somebody has treated you unfairly. And perhaps they didn't see your worth. And I feel like now you need to look at this from new eyes, from a new perspective, and look at this as a time of inspiration, which you're not. Okay, I feel like you have been been protected from this person. This is actually a blessing in disguise, but you may not see it like that. I think you're dealing with somebody who is overly critical of you and they really hurt you. And they probably, you know, involved another person. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like there's another person that has been involved with a person that you had your heart set on. And you don't want to accept the truth, so you're turning a blind eye to it, even though you know the truth. And it's time for you to make this clear decision. You know that you have to. It's time for you to make the clear decision and make the choice that you need to make. Be, you know, I feel, feel like you guys may have had a false beginning with somebody, and you might not want to accept that. Okay, I feel like you may, you may feel like you want to keep trying. You want to keep fighting for this. 
but I feel whoever you're dealing with isn't communicating effectively. They aren't really talking to you and there's no forward movement. And I feel that there's a lot of power struggles here. There's a lot of um, hurt, okay? There's a lot of hurt. And I feel like this person may have already severed ties with you emotionally. And that you are being called to sever the ties and stop fighting for this, whatever it is. I don't know. There's a lot of conflict here. And you may be feeling like you've been defeated and you just don't want to give up. You don't want to give up because it's safe to be right where you're at, right? Even though this person is not really communicating effectively with you. I feel like you. this is going to be a struggle. You, you are being called to struggle through this and look at things differently and to let go. This is about letting go and stop sacrificing yourself for somebody that is hurting you. So, Cancer, I feel like this is a week of not going backwards and realizing the truth of a situation and taking the blindfold off. You are being called to make a solid decision here. It is time to make the decision. What are you worth? I feel like there's an end of a contract here because it's time to restore balance and harmony to your life. Okay? It is. It's time to let go of this obsession and start the healing process. Everything happens for a reason. This has a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. There's some sort of ending of a contract and I know that you are you are very undecisive about this. I know that you are very in, undecisive about this. But it is absolutely time to make a decision. Okay? So it is absolutely time to let go. There's an obsession here. There's something that you are holding on to that does not serve you. And now, there's a decision all over in this reading. It's decision-making time, Cancer. Are you ready to start the healing process? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This tells me that if you stay optimistic, something else will happen. Don't let this person that is not seeing your worth, they're criticizing you, they're probably involved with another person. Hold you back. Stop ignoring the truth. Whatever the truth is. There's a truth here that is being ignored. Live in the now. Embrace this moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today. Again, positive. You need to think positive about the future. Don't stay somewhere where you're not being appreciated. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. And this is what has happened. Somebody has evolved. Whether it's you or the other person. Which is causing you to evolve. So I feel like today or this week is a week of letting go of somebody that you have been obsessed with that isn't reciprocating. It doesn't see your worth. Actually make the final decision to move on. Move on. Move on. Talk to you later. When it says embrace this moment before I say goodbye, embrace this moment. Right now, today, this is a moment to be free yourself from what is holding you back. This is about personal freedom. This is about liberation. Free yourself. 
talk to you later.